in this Tosca session, we are going to talk about the T-Box window operation. Now, this is one of the T-Box automation tools modules. And using this module, you can send specific commands to a particular window. These are mostly useful for window-based applications. And we are going to look at some of the operations which you can perform. There are lots of different uh, operations which this module provides. Like you can bring the window to front, uh, you can close the window, maximize, minimize, move to center, normal, uh, which is restoring the window to its original size. You can resize the window. Uh, you can check whether that particular window is open or not, and then uh, wait on close and wait on open. Right? So these are all the different operations uh, which you can perform uh, using this particular module. We are not going to look at all of them, but uh, we'll be looking at some of them, uh, which could be useful when you are working with this uh, Windows uh, in, in your automation test suit, okay? So for this particular example, I'm going to use uh, the notepad, okay? And uh, as you can see, I have already created a particular uh, test case called window operations. And inside that, my first step is to start or open the notepad. Now, if you remember, uh, we have talked about process operations where you can have the where you can use the tbox start program and that's what i'm using i have given the path uh, which is the notepad path and when i'm going to run this it is just going to open the notepad for me okay so okay so the notepad is open uh, we have used the tbox start program right uh, it's not part of the window operations uh, but this is required in order to open uh, this particular application, okay? And then um, now I'm going to add few other steps which are related to the window operations module, okay? And uh, we are going to use the T-Box window operation. So let's search for this, right? And uh, there are basically four parameters here or um, test the values which you can pass, right? So you can pass a caption. A caption is nothing but a name uh, for that particular window, okay? Then a window index, if you have multiple uh, windows open, you can put an index to it. And then the operation. The operation which I was talking about, there are lots of operations, but uh, we are going to use some of them. And this operation is a drop-down list, okay? So you can see, uh, we talked about bring to front, close, maximize, minimize, um, resize, move to center, and verify window access. So all of these operations are present here, which you can perform on your window, okay? So uh, coming to caption, right? So in this caption, this is a notepad, right? So the text is notepad on this particular window, but there is also a untitled text in this, right? So what we can do, uh, we can use some regular expression so that even if the text changes, it will always be able to identify with this particular caption, okay? Although I've got just one window open right now, I can still use an index. Um, for instance, if there are other windows open for Notepad, then this will only consider the first index, okay? And then coming to operation, right? So uh, what we are going to do first is we are going to maximize it, right? So let's rename this to maximize, right? Now, uh, what I can do, um, I can copy and paste this, okay? And I can just change the operation now. I will change it to minimize, so it will minimize that particular window. Okay, and the caption and window index will still remain the same. And then let's copy this again. We'll try to uh, use some operations. And then um, I will say uh, we can bring that or uh, to the normal size, okay? So let's change it to normal. Okay, and then um, in this final step, uh, we are going to close this particular window, okay? 
and I'm going to use another operation here. Okay, but I'm going to drag this to the beginning. Okay, here um, I'm going to say bring to front, right? So if it is somewhere in the background, then it is going to bring it to the front. Okay, so we are going to use this operation. And that will be all the steps which will be, um, or all the operations which will be performing using this window operation module. Uh, you can try out all the remaining options, but these are the ones uh, which we can try right now. Okay, now let's try and run all of these different operations on our notepad, right? Before that, I'm just going to adjust this particular operation. I'm just going to put it um, after minimize so that um, when it is minimized, you can bring that particular window to the front, right? And uh, if I run this um, whole test case together, you might not be able to see anything because it will be too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute a step, one step at a time, right? So first uh, I'm going to execute the maximize so that the window is maximized. Right, you can see uh, the window size has now changed. It is uh, to the maximum maximum screen size, right? And let's go back here and the scratch book, you can see it has passed. Now let's try and run the minimize window. And the window will be minimized, right? And let me put the scratch book uh, to a second window so that we can see that, okay? Right, uh, now let's try and run uh, the bring to front because our window is minimized. Let's try and do that so you can see now it is showing it in front. Right. And then uh, let's run this normal uh, operation so that it will bring back the window to its normal size, okay? And then finally, we'll close the application. And you will see that uh, the notepad is closed now, okay? So these are all the operations uh, which can be performed on a window. You can try out all the remaining operations which I showed you um, on the same window or a different window. So it's a quite useful module if you want to perform some operations on a particular window, uh, especially window based applications. Um, and that's all for this particular uh, T box window operation uh, module.